So we're at Grain at the Silo in Launceston by Peppers for dinner tonight and we're going to try some of their Tasmanian um, delicacies I guess. We've ordered some scallops and oysters and abalone as well and some blue tuna and we've also got a few other varieties so I'm excited to see what this restaurant has on offer and we can use our Acor Plus so we can get 50% off our food too so that's exciting and great when we can save some money as well with a good meal so let's see how it all goes and I'll show you very soon. So the restaurant's right along the river so during the day we'll, I'll show you that later um, we'll see the river in the morning when we show you breakfast. So we've got our food starting to arrive. So we've got some scallops here. So this one I think was with a truffle butter. So you get three to a serving. Yeah, so there's some crispy bits to it. And then this is the tuna. So I think this was the um, bluefin tuna I think it was with some olives as well and then this is the beef tartare normally it would come with walnuts but we've asked them to take the walnuts out because we're allergic to nuts for some people who are eating with us today and then we've got the oysters with a vinaigrette so we're in Tasmania so we need to try their oysters and this is their abalone which is fried which I'm looking forward to trying as well so bon appetit all right, I'm gonna try the oyster. So you can see oyster. How do I get the sauce? How do I get the sauce? This is the vinegar. This is the that's a tuna. So there's a bit of a vinegar that goes with it. Let's try the oyster again. They are very fresh. I'll try it with the sauce. Yes. Mm. They're very yummy. All right, we got abalone here. It's got a cream sauce. And the abalone has been deep fried. I haven't had a deep fried abalone before, so I'm to put it on my try list. Mmm. Like a panko crumb. Abalone is very subtle. Almost tastes like chicken. Mm-hmm. It's okay. But I do like abalone cooked a little bit differently. It's very Australian, I guess. Or Western. It's not an Asian version of abalone, but I had to try it because it is Tasmania and we have to try. So you can see it's a cream sauce and it's very thinly fried as well. So this is a scallop and it's got some crispy pieces attached to it. Nice, thinly shaved scallop. Mm -hmm. Like a burnt butter truffle. Scallop's very sweet. The chips are very nice. That was very yummy. I would eat the scallop again. It was very nice, the thin, it was very thinly crisp, which were really worth trying. Okay, very yummy. This is the beef tartar. So it comes with a thin, crisp wafer bread. Mm. It's a vinaigrette taste. I'm going to try the tuna. Alright, let's try the tuna. It's got some olive and some mint, and it's got some onion as well. Tuna is very soft. It doesn't stand out, stand out the taste, but there is a subtle tuna taste to it. I think the meat gives it a really fresh taste, so that's quite nice actually. 
I would order this one again too. So overall the food's not bad. All right, so we've got, for the mains, we've got some gnocchi and it's actually got some truffle. So that's pretty special, I think, with some mushrooms as well. So that's the gnocchi, it's a vegetarian dish. And then we've got a pork chop with potatoes. And yeah, that looks quite pretty and quite nice, actually. Well cooked. And then we also have the fish of the day, which was the trevelli. And that serves with like a vegetable on the side and then they do have sauces as well and then we've ordered a side of potatoes so they all look good it's well presented and we're gonna see how it all tastes let me try the pork chop so, you need the sauce, so it's a bit dry. But that's probably the meaty part. And they do have the oil, the fatty spot too. Oh, the pork crackling at the end, which is nice. Mm. So it's almost like a it was pork chop, but it's actually more, almost like a pork crackling at the end of the skin, which is nice. If you eat it, all the pieces together, it's not as dry. Mm. And a nice piece of truffle. Got two pieces of truffle with this one. Gnocchi was creamy. The sauce was nice. Actually, I think out of the three gnocchis I've had recently, this is probably the nicer one. And it's got a, it's got mushrooms, and you can actually taste the mushrooms through the gnocchi. So it's, it's a nice dish to have. I would order that one again. Side of fries. Mm. This is Chevelli. It's quite a good sized fish today. And they've actually got the sauce, so I'm just gonna pinch the sauce. It's a bit straighty. Normally it's coated but we asked for it on the side today. Mm. The fish is cooked just right. It's very moist inside. You can actually see it Sorry? quite kind of wet. And um, no. yeah, it's actually very tasty. It's a very, you can taste all the um, chunks of meat in the fish, which is really nice. And yeah, I would order this one if they serve this one again. All right, so for dessert tonight, we've chosen a quince quince crumble so they made it to order so it was about an extra 10 minutes so quince i don't normally get to eat it it's a fruit and i think it should taste like an apple or a pear so i'm going to give it a go and they've got crumble with it and some vanilla ice cream which i think is really good because it's winter here and we'd like to eat something warm and the other option which my husband's ordered is the cream brulee so it's actually in a clear glass cup today and it looks very pretty as well it looks like it's got a biscotti with it and looks like some mandarin on top so we're gonna try and see how it all so we're gonna just quickly try the quince okay so got ice cream and some crumble with it I have it all in one mouthful hopefully not too hot so mm. Mm. It's very hot. It's a bit sweet, a bit sour. I think that's how it should be tasting. With the crumble and the ice cream is definitely a highlight to go with it because it was really hot. But like I said, it was just cooked too, so we'll just keep enjoying it. Habi's letting me try his one for the first time. So let's dig in. Down to the bottom. The sauce. 
It's panna cotta, it is what the white part was. And it's got some mandarins and some, I think some citrus skin. So you can taste that um, orange peel, I think. But even though it's candied, you can taste that slight bitterness, but I guess it complements it together with a little bit of the syrup as well. So nice and light, more refreshing, um, and more colder dish. But overall, it's nice and it's well presented too. So we've just finished dinner at Grain Restaurant at the Pepper's Silo in Launceston. And I would say this is a pretty nice meal that we've had and managed to enjoy in this atmosphere. It is a more fine dining experience and we really enjoyed all the entrees. And the mains, I would say the fish of the day and also the gnocchi were probably my favorite. The desserts were a little bit on the smaller side in the serving. It was all right, it, it, nothing overly outstanding, but just a little bit different, I think. So I think for my verdict, I would definitely order oysters and I would order the scallops, but I, I like the real pan seared, like a whole big circular um, scallop if I had a choice. So these scallops were a little bit on the smaller side, but the taste was definitely there. It was very sweet on the entree. The uh, tuna was good. I would order that tuna again. That was actually on their specials for tonight. So overall, my verdict for this restaurant will probably be an 8 out of 10. We are using our Acor Plus mem uh, membership, so our, all our food tonight will be 50% off because we've actually got two cards with four people dining. So we're excited about that extra discount and also to be able to have tried some food in Tasmania. And this was our first meal and we're quite pleased with it so far. So looking forward to the rest of our trip in Launceston. Well, last night in Launceston, we decided we were going to have another meal at the grain of the silos because we quite enjoyed our dinner the first night we were there. So here's the menu because I forgot to take it last time. And you could get sharing plates or you can actually have starters, small plates and there's large plates plus sides, which we will order our favorite again and we might try some new dishes today as well. And then they've also have their special menu. So on their special menu, there was that tuna we had on the first night, the bluefin tuna. And we might actually try the duck breast tonight as well, because we're a bit of a fan of duck. For our entrees, we have reordered our scallops because we really enjoyed them. So we've got the baked East Coast scallop with some truffle butter Jerusalem artichoke which is what the crispy bits are and they come in a serving of three so they look nice and charred so that's always very exciting to know that they've done that then we've got the house special of the bluefin tuna and that's got some citrus dressing and some olives as well and that was one of our favorite too so we've ordered that and we've got the oysters again and th tonight the oysters look a little bit bigger than last time so we are going to look forward with that and the dr that's a pepper berry minonette as the dressing so we can't wait to try them so I got the sauce and the oyster today they look so yummy. Look how juicy they are. Leaking it. I know, I just leaked it. That's what I just said. You can taste the saltiness of the oysters today. I have one with just the um, lemon. It's a nicely fresh one. That was good. You can definitely have the zinc taste in your mouth after that. This is our blue, blue fin tuna. It's got the mint and the olive and a bit of, looks like a radish.
I'm going to have it all in one mouthful. It's very yummy. I like it with the mint, it actually enhances the taste. Okay, so for tonight's dinner, we have actually ordered the grilled Cape Grim Scotch fillet, 300 grams, and it comes with a parsnip cream and some sour onion and some charred barisca in a red wine jus. So we're looking forward to that. And we've got the gnocchi from the other night as well, which we really enjoyed. And that was the uh, sauteed mushrooms with fresh truffle, as you can see. And it's got some parmesan cream on that. And we've also got the potatoes, the roasted potatoes with rosemary. And, and then tonight, we've ordered the grilled pork chop, but they actually use pork belly tonight. So that's also a favorite of our family. So pork belly, it's coming with the celeriac cream, glazed honey, carrot, but I don't think it's carrot, I think it's beetroot tonight. So it comes with beetroot tonight. And there is a salsa verde. And then this is also on their special menu tonight. And this was actually their roasted lone goose duck breast, roast sugar loaf cabbage, celeriac pickled um, quince, quince jus. So that looks very appetizing because you can see the just medium cooked as well. So we're going to look forward to eating and seeing how it all tastes tonight. We're just cutting up the steak because we're sharing our food tonight. And we wanted it medium rare, so looking pretty good. All right, and I'm going to cut the pork belly as well, I think. Put on my plates to cut. The pork belly itself is nice and soft. All right, I'm gonna try. So top on my list is the dock. We love dock. Try a bit of this and a bit of the cabbage as well. See how it all goes together. Awesome. All right, so. So it's a much darker looking um, duck. It's, so not something we're used to. It's got a more smokier taste to it too. The skin's nice and quite crispy. Tastes almost a bit like a um, almost like a cured meat but it's worth trying if you get the chance let's try a bit of the steak okay. always like my charred vegetables nice and crispy I'm going to try the steak now. It's charred well on the outside. I'm not able to say I can taste the steak flavour as strongly. Or some of the other steaks I've had. But it's soft enough. I'm going to try the pork belly. You can see it rendered different layers. Try the verde with it. Mm. Nice and soft. I'm going to just try to take a bite of this. <laughs> the crackling could be more crackly. I mean, the crackling was a bit underdone. I had 
have had, I have had much better crackling, but the pork itself is quite not in your mouth, so it is quite nice. I think the crackling on the pork chop was nicer the other day. And let's try the gnocchi. So Noki's got the truffle right there. So. Nokis are still good, so definitely have the Noki with the truffle. So that's our meal, we're going to enjoy the rest of it. I hope you enjoyed watching what we've eaten at the Grain by Salo for dinner. Okay, so for dessert, we've ordered the cream caramel with orange, candied orange and biscotti. So we had this the other night, so we decided we'll do it again because it's quite nice and refreshing. And so as you can see, you've got the candied, you've got the candied oranges, you've got segments of orange, and it's a bit layering. So that was actually quite yummy. And then today, we tr tonight, we'll try something different. And this is actually the chocolate and hazelnut parfait. Spice poached pears, sesame, candied walnuts. So parfait, we'll just, it's like an ice cream. Oh, chopped in half. You can't really see much in it, but it is actually, it's got like little chocolate pieces through it. So let's give it a little try. It's got a little bit of sauce on top too, so. Very creamy. Mm, you got those little chocolate biscuit bites through it too. Pears are soft, got a bit of a rich winey taste to it, and then the candied walnuts gives it a bit of a crunchy bite. So not bad, kind of cuts through all the taste. So overall, I think our dinner here is definitely worth coming. That's why we've come twice in our three nights stay. So this is Grain by Silo. And if you are here, please come and try the food. I hope you enjoyed our video and I would give it an eight out of 10 as a restaurant. The service is great. The food is pretty good and they are using a lot of the Tasmanian produce. So if you are an Acor Plus member, obviously that's an extra bonus for you and for us because we get 50% off our food as well. So thanks for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed our video on the food we've eaten at Grain by Salo at Peppers by Salo at Launceston. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.